Hi coaches, it's Jeff Jagfield from Tennis Coaching Education coming at you today with some more tips for your students. Today we're going to talk about what I call the three short ball options. We all know when two players are in a rally from the baseline, eventually the point will either end or one of the two players will hit the ball short. When the ball lands short, we're going to be running forward and then we need to know what our three short ball options are. The three letters I want you to remember are K, C, D. When your player's running in, they're going to have an offensive choice or what we call the killer approach shot, a neutral choice, which is C, we call the controlled approach shot, and a defensive choice, which we call the dink or drop, hence the letters KCD. When you're running in for that regular approach shot, remember, just keep the ball in play, keep it close to the sideline, keep it deep, keep it low, and then move into your volley position. When you're doing the killer approach shot, hit that one with the intent of ending the point uh, with one swing of the racket. So we want pace on that one. Make sure you go to what I call the, the hot spots on the court, which is either down the line deep or cross court short. Finally, we need a defensive option or a change of pace, if you will. So sometimes when the ball is really short and I'm just barely getting up there, I want to just dink or drop. That will help me stay in position to cover the next ball that's going to come back over the net. The other option would be to use that once I've already established my controlled approach shot and my killer approach shot to use the dink or drop as a change up. So now my opponent doesn't know that's coming and I throw that in there and they'll be caught off guard. Try those instructional tools with your students and let me know how they go in the comments below.